G'day guys. I don't have the self-control to uh, not check this out straight away as soon as I got it. Here is the Max Peating Rods MXR 3500. It's a 3000 watt constant inverter generator. Now I partnered with Max Peating Rods for this one. They sent this out to me at half cost. Um, so I still got some skin in the game. I did pay uh, half of what these retail for obviously these will all be linked in the description and I've got a mad discount code for you guys at the moment but uh, we're constantly uh, on new building sites at the moment with no power and uh, I built a inverter generator box over there which is just a uh, pair of lithium batteries and an inverter we've got a few jobs coming up where we might need a bit more than that so I thought this is the perfect time and Max, Max Petting Rod said they'd partner with me to uh, make some videos on this beast and put it through its paces. So uh, here we are. Now, it's in inverter generator, so it's normally got a brushless DC, uh, a brushless um, alternator inside it. And uh, once it comes through there, it goes through a inverter to uh, give you a nice stable power output regardless of revs and all those kinds of things. It has an eco throttle just like all the Hondas and Yamahas and things do. It has a 12 volt output, which hopefully is a 13.8 volt output. It says 12, but we will test that shortly. It has USB ports, which looks to me like it would be like a USB cigar lighter socket pushed in there. Very cool. It's got a parallel connection port, so we can actually parallel these with an additional um, inverter generator. A couple of breakers. AC output, overload, low oil, earth. Air cleaner lives behind that hatch. Engine oil fill slash drain tucked in there. I've already topped it off with uh, engine oil. And one of my favorite ways to do the engine oil in these little kinds of engines, whether it be lawn mowers or these, drink bottle with a pop top lid. Nothing beats it. Just perfect every time. So you just want to fill that up until you've got it up on the stick. There's an operator's manual that shows you how to do that. So you've got to get it up on that cross hatch on the stick. Okay, so it's got a spark arrestor on its exhaust that we can see there. And this is obviously where a lot of the heat will come out of the tool. Uh, this is four stroke. It says it's safe for E10, which is cool. It actually recommends E10 fuel make the generator run well. Now, one reason that they say something like E10 will make it run well is generally because it's good for cleaning. Um, the ethanol burns really clean and uh, yeah, you obviously get a nicer burn out of it. I wouldn't recommend leaving E10 in something. Um, it does have a cool ratcheting lock cap like a car, so it may be better. So it's changed it every six months or 100 hours. That's pretty cool. First time, or if you haven't lost, used it for a long time, check fuel and oil, turn the fuel switch, let it sit for a minute. So we haven't started this ever. So we're gonna stick this to run. That's the fuel switch. You'll see here there's a blank plate. This is where the old ones had chokes. Got a port there for our little spark plug down in there. Obviously it's a overhead valve. I read the spec sheet real quick. It stated it's 141 cc, 148 cc. Either way, quite an engine. Anti-vibe feet. It's on the other side. On the other side, nothing much. Little steel kind of bezel there for where the uh, plastic where the cord rubs that normally choose through the plastic on most cheaper gen sets it says it was manufactured second month at 22 so it's not very old emission compliance is for the first 125 hours that's the uh, manufacturer's information um, you obviously don't use this indoors it is a generator it has a combustion engine so 12 and a half amps at 240 volts, which gives you a three kilowatt. Tested at 25 Celsius outdoor temperature. And 4600 is the total RPMs. So let me show you what's in the bag of 
goodies. I pulled it straight out of the box because it's bin day. And through that straight in, you have a full operator's manual in here, including the breakdown of all the parts, where they are, what they go to. Pretty cool. We have a blank plug. Assuming for plugging in safety reasons. Oh, that's what I didn't mention. 15 amp plug which it should be for three kilowatt and above. So one of the T-shape plugs to a pair of alligator clips. Comes with the paralleling leads. Yep, that's really cool. I didn't see them in there before. I thought they were part of those leads. So you don't have to buy a parallel kit like you would a name brand genset. It's there. If someone else has got one of these and they want to give it to me to uh, parallel and do some tests for videos yeah just sing out and i will do so little tool kit with a spark plug tube spanner and a multi-function screwdriver and what i'm assuming is a waterproof cover for protecting it on the back of your ute let me just unwrap that and yes it's a bag with a draw drawstring on it to put over your gen set exceptionally cool Righto, move our combustibles out of the way, switch her to choke, eco throttle off, I'll go grab the uh, tripod stand thing and see if we can start it straight away, so then you guys can watch how much effort I put into starting it. Okay, so here's our first start of the uh, Max Peding Rods 3500. smoke on our first startup. It's not a surprise. I did have it tipped on its side before. But it really just purrs along. So I'm obviously going to do load testing and things like that with it, which will come in videos in the next couple of days. I also have a uh, decibel meter, so we'll actually be able to talk about how loud it is at full throttle, because that's definitely a factor. Um, a lot of these things are advertised as very quiet, like in the 50 and 60 decibel ranges, but then they get up on high or you turn the eco throttle off and they scream, they make more noise than you can yeah, imagine. as part of the break-in process it really needs to uh, probably be on high throttle yeah very easy to shut down you're just going to start without two hands. It's quite easy to start. Oh, I've got a USB cord here. green light on the USB. Well, 
lights on the ring light. Let's just go grab the multimeter real quick and we'll test the uh, output there on the 12 volt side. Yes, as suspected, it's a 12 volt battery charge port. Made for topping off your batteries when you need to. I'm just going to let this run out here for a little bit. Oh, I'll do some stuff in the shed and let it run itself in. Well, I suppose we can measure the AC while we're here too. Steady output, it's uh, 240 volts. So that's going to be nice to run my equipment on. We'll just plug something in and see if it uh, revs up. It's uh, off eco throttle. I'll see what I can grab hold of in the shed. Okay, we have the L shaped Milwaukee heavy duty hammer drill. What's it pull? 1030 watts. Very little rev fluctuation. That's on AK throttle. Very cool. I think this is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go and buy a kilowatt hour meter. Plug it straight in the front here. Have to pull that flap off. And we're going to monitor all the kilowatt hours we get out of it. I'll try and keep tabs on all the fuel I put through it. Uh, we'll give it a service after about 50 hours, get the running oil out. And uh, just going to run it and run it and run it and run it, basically. So we can get done with it. Got uh, lots of things planned. Uh, we'll try and weld with it with a TIG air compressors, all the kinds of site tools that all your builders and plumbers and tradies would all use, uh, charging stations, things like that, so we can charge up all our tools. I think this is going to be a good thing. So, thank you Max Peating Rods for uh, going halves in this. I'll uh, get some good use out of it and make lots of content out of it. and. Uh, yeah, we'll put it to the test over the coming couple of months and see what what ends up happening. I feel like it's going to be a good thing. It resembles high build quality. It's certainly not. The plastics all feel good. There's plenty of screws and bolts and stuff in them all. Handles good. You can pick it up, carry it. Um, we'll go into specs a little bit deeper in another video. We'll decibel test it in another video. Yeah, I'm um, so far quite impressed. We'll do some more and uh, see what we come up with. For now, thanks for watching. Buy one of these down in the link below. There's a big discount code as a uh, thank you from Max Peating Rods for my subscribers. Yeah, MXR 3500. They make a 5500 too. See if we can't get hold of one of them, depending on how well we go with this one. And yeah ticks over quite nicely. Good product. Thanks for watching.